Okay guys, I'm here with the portable welder, 160 amps. So underneath here you will see your one off both sides has 110 volts. Your power and your overload. This is your dialer to decrease your amperage and to also increase your amperage here. Here we'll switch, switch part you will see. 160 amp, 115, 90 and 55 was the lowest amperage you could go to. Just a little reading on it here. You're using your regular 110 cable plug in to a 30 amp breaker your exhaust fan in the back here for the machine and this is your ground clamp here I was just doing some test welds on the machine a little spot welds a little string over here not really well done to say but I'm just testing all the rods to see how they burn and I tested some rods the only rod I say will have to tell you that this machine cannot burn is the 7018 that's the big rod that one is the 532 rod yeah the 532 because that requires 150 amps to uh, 220 amps and the machine cuts off at 160 so this is the only rod you cannot burn with the machine so you could go ahead and burn your regular 110 let me 110 6010 6011 6013 and your basic 7018 I was using some 60 10 over here and over here if you run the machine on a 20 amp breaker it will trip because it will overload so you need a 30 amp breaker and as I said only 110 for the machine so this is the portable welder that you could find in Trinidad and Tobago 160 amps don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos. I'll be doing more reviews and videos on this portable welder.